So I knew Jonas uh, for about the last 10 years of his life. And in the early days when I came here to the Institute, um, we had some scientific interests in common. Jonas was very interested in demyelinating disease. And um, at that time, I was studying cells in the nervous system that uh, form the structure myelin that's attacked in these diseases. And so we were discussing that. And um, at one point in the conversation, um, Jonas asked me something about mutants. And um, those people who knew, who knew Jonas knew that he was actually very soft-spoken. So it was often difficult to tell exactly what, um, what he was thinking about or even speaking. And in this context, I thought he was talking about um, some mouse mutants that we had made that had problems with, um, with myelination and actually had demyelinating disease. And I thought he was telling, asking me questions about that. But it turned out he was actually asking broader questions about um, mutants in general. And it became clear during the conversation that he was asking whether he thought that I was a mutant. And at this point, he explained sort of what he had in mind. Wait, one of the, the key things that Jonas was really interested in um, was this kind of science that he was going to populate, scientist that he was going to populate the, the institute with. And he had this notion of a distinction between people who were evolvers and people who were maintainers of the status quo. He really wanted people who were evolvers. He wanted exceptionally creative people who would push boundaries. And in that context, he mentioned that those sorts of people were effectively mutants, that they were not like most other people, um, that most people there were far more maintainers of the status quo um, than there were evolvers. And he really wanted to select for those mutants. He really wanted to populate um, the Institute with, with creative people who were evolvers or who were, who were mutants in his work. So in effect, what he was asking me was whether or not I was a mutant. I was that kind of person. And I was a bit stopped short for an answer at that time. But in retrospect, when I'm thinking about it, my, my response has always been that I hope that I am.